Hey guys, how's it going? A few weeks ago, we published a video in which Phil Spencer hinted that Microsoft's purchase of Bethesda would come with total exclusivity of all their games for the next few years, besides the existing contracts that they already had signed. But recent statements by Tim Sturt, Xbox CFO, seem to indicate something slightly different. But before continuing, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so you don't miss out on a thing. Oh, and if you're lucky and already have one of those next-gen consoles, don't cut yourself off and tell us in the comments how everything's going. We want to know. The purchase of Bethesda by Microsoft has undoubtedly been one piece of news that 2020 will be remembered for. Besides, of course, the virus thing, but definitely top 5. Once the purchase process is completed, we'll finally be able to see how Microsoft is going to handle a studio and what crazy things they'll get up to. What will happen to such important franchises such as The Elder Scrolls or Fallout? It's a well-known fact that all contracts that Bethesda has in force will be honored. But how are they going to deal with exclusivity? Because you don't spend $7.5 billion just to let your rival platforms have access to the greatest content. Well. Phil Spencer talked about it many times and what he basically said was that he did not need other consoles outside of their ecosystem to recover the initial investment and purchase of Bethesda, something that we already explained in this video. In a recent talk by the CFO of Xbox, he stated that the main intention of the purchase is that the content will be first or best on our platforms and continues. In the long term, we do not intend to remove all content of Bethesda from Sony or Nintendo consoles. This is something that may suggest that Bethesda games can continue to reach the PlayStation 5 or Switch despite Microsoft having all the rights. With this kind of news, you know that we like to give our opinion and we continue to say that it would be crazy for Microsoft to have spent that amount of money so that the competition can take advantage of their titles from the beginning. So. The most normal thing from a business point of view would be that these games have temporary exclusivity on Microsoft platforms like the Xbox and the PC, fully optimized and then months or even a year afterwards they could come out on other platforms like the PlayStation 5. After all, this is the business model that PlayStation follows and now Xbox can copy it. It would be a master move by Phil Spencer to further increase the Game Pass numbers and a good incentive to sell more consoles by being able to have all the games from day one for very little money in the Game Pass, in addition to being fully optimized for both Xboxes. And then, as a bonus, they can also take the huge profit that they would generate on the Sony and Nintendo consoles. Random comment. How pissed off would Sony be at having the Microsoft logo when starting the game? On the other hand, it is great news for loyal PlayStation fans because although it may take a little longer to wait, finally these games will be able to be enjoyed on the Sony platform. So if the statement is confirmed, the next Elder Scrolls, Doom or Fallout will be available on the white consoles as well. What is clear is that it will be a win-win situation for both platforms. For Microsoft, to finally be able to have more exclusives and for Sony just to have access to those games. What do you think of these statements? Would you miss these games if you couldn't play them on the PlayStation 5? Do you think Microsoft would do well to let other platforms own games? As always, let us know down below in the comments. Thanks for watching guys and see you soon.